So it's a race against time at the moment. I just got home from work and I have to run back to work in an hour. And my cousin got four turkeys and brought them over here. We're gonna butcher them and we're gonna try and get it done in an hour. At least there's only four and butchering poultry is not very hard. So we should be able to get done. I'm pretty excited. I haven't even seen them yet. Oh my gosh, they're so big. You guys get, oh, hold on. They're huge. The white one is the girl. The other ones are boys. Yeah. Yep. They can make dirty walk. Big secret key. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 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 Here. Take the board. No, it's fine. Twenty-two. That's a lot. That is so much meat. Today is day two of our process of doing turkeys. Last night it just got so late we didn't completely finish them, but we're canning them today. And my cousin is here helping us out with it. More like teaching me because I've canned jar or jams and some vegetables before but never meat. So she's helping us out with this because she's an open book, has so much more knowledge and skills than I do. So here we go. It's going to be a process. There's over, well over a hundred pounds of meat from the turkeys, from the four turkeys that we processed out last night. Um, we didn't finish that up until around 10, so we didn't get in bed till around 11 because we had to clean. So our kitchen is an absolute madhouse. Excuse the traffic. There's a lot of it right now, but here we go. Okay, say hi guys. Hi. 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 So it has been another long day probably longer than I thought it was going to be anyway, but it turned out really good. Um, my cousin left not too long ago. We got most of the turkey canned. We still have three more half gallon um, jars to do. They're kind of an experiment to see how they'll turn out as far as canning meat in a half gallon versus a pint or a quart sized jar, but we did try it out and so far it looks pretty good. Um, no complaints. Uh, we're going to use it first though. Um, rather than just letting it sit on the shelf longer than the rest of the other stuff. So, but that'll be pretty easy to do. We feed nine people here. So using a half gallon of meat at a time, we'll go through pretty quick. So we have seven more still going over here. And um, this 
we have this going and two other crock pots. Um, they're going to cook down and render. Uh, we're going to render some tallow out of it to use for soap making. Um, and here's the other jars. So that's what we got out of them. They're going to sit overnight and cool down. And then tomorrow we'll get them all put away and we'll finish uh, the tallow and get the other three jars that I have stored over in my mom's refrigerator right now cooked up or processed and ready to go on the shelves with the rest of them. So I'm sitting here waiting for the pressure canner to finish steaming so that I can take the weight off and we can just let it sit overnight and cool down and go to bed. But I wanted to give a huge shout out to my cousin Christine who came over to help us and more importantly, teach me how to do all of this today because like I said before, I've never pressure canned anything. Um, I've been totally afraid of it. When we first got it, um, my grandma got it before she passed and she just told me all the horror stories that can happen with pressure canners. So I've never even attempted to use it because I've been too terrified. And she came over, taught us how to do it, worked with us, and it was great. So thanks Christine for coming over. 